In this video, we're going to take a look at unit conversion. And specifically, we're going to take a look at picomole per liter to nanomole per liter and vice versa. So here, the standard amount of total testosterone in an adult man is anywhere between 10.4 to 34.7 nanomoles per liter. So suppose an adult male received a test result of total testosterone of 29,300 picomoles per liter. Convert this to nanomoles per liter, and does he fall within the standard amount? Now some medical tests give results in picomoles per liter or nanomoles per liter. The mole is commonly used in medicine to measure small amounts of a substance in blood or other liquids. A mole is the amount of a substance that contains a large number of molecules or atoms. Now a picomole is one trillionth of a mole, and a nanomole is one billionth of a mole. Then a liter measures fluid volume, and it's a little bit bigger than a quart. So since P is the symbol for pico, and it's just a prefix meaning 10 to the negative 12, N is the symbol for nano, and it's a prefix meaning 10 to the negative 9. So our ratio here is 1,000 to 1. I want you to pause the video now and use this information that 1,000 picomole is equivalent to 1 nanomole, and I want you to answer this application question. So if we're asked to convert from pico to nano, all we would have to do is divide by a thousand, and vice versa, if we were asked to convert from nano to pico, then we would have to do the opposite, which is multiply by a thousand. So here we're starting off with 29,300 picomoles per liter. Now to convert from picomole to nanomole, all we have to do is divide by a thousand. So that would just give us 29.3 nanomoles per liter. And if the standard amount of total testosterone in an adult male is anywhere between 10.4 to 34.7, he received a total testosterone of 29.3, so it seems to be an okay amount. 